Jubilee Evangelical Church Daily Devotion. How great the chasm that lay between us, how high the mountain I could not climb. In desperation, I turned to heaven and spoke your name. Into the night Then through the darkness Your loving kindness Tore through the shadows of my soul The work is finished The end is written Jesus Christ, my living Who could imagine so great a mercy? What heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to wear my sin and bear my shame. The cross has Then came the morning that sealed the promise. Your buried body began to breathe out of the sun.
Matthew 28, 11-16 As the women were on their way, some of the guards went into the city and told the leading priests what had happened. A meeting with the elders was called, and they decided to give the soldiers a large bribe. They told the soldiers, You must say, Jesus' disciples came during the night while we were sleeping, and they stole his body. If the governor hears about it, we'll stand up for you so you won't get in trouble. So the guards accepted the bribe and said what they were told to say. Their story spread widely among the Jews, and they still tell it today. Then the eleven disciples left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. Belief and Freedom in the Resurrection In Matthew 28, 11-16, we witnessed the contrasting responses to the miraculous event of Jesus' resurrection. The guards, who experienced the earthquake and saw the angel, report everything to the chief priests. Rather than responding with belief, the religious leaders devise a scheme to suppress the truth, bribing the guards to spread a false story that Jesus' disciples had stolen his body. Just as the guards and chief priests knew the facts but refused to believe, many people today are familiar with the story of Jesus' resurrection but do not allow it to transform their lives. True belief goes beyond intellectual assent. It requires a heartfelt acceptance and trust in Jesus Christ. This kind of belief brings freedom from sin and death, transforming our lives. First, let us examine our faith. Reflect on whether your belief in Jesus is merely intellectual or if it truly impacts your heart and actions. We must respond to God's call with integrity and faithfulness. Even when the world tries to suppress the truth of the resurrection, we are called to stand firm and live out our faith boldly. Then, share the truth. Like the women who first witnessed the resurrection, we are called to share the good news of Jesus' victory over death with others, even in the face of skepticism and disbelief. We should not be discouraged by those who oppose or mock our beliefs. Instead, let us confidently proclaim the good news of Jesus' victory over death. Lastly, live transformed lives by trusting in God's plan. Allow the power of the resurrection to transform every aspect of your life, bringing freedom, joy, and purpose. The disciples obeyed Jesus' command to go to Galilee, even when it might have seemed uncertain or dangerous. We too must trust in God's plan for our lives, knowing that He is with us and will guide us through any challenges we face. Reflection Just as the disciples prepared to receive the Great Commission, let us be ready to follow Jesus' call and share His love with the world. Prayer Heavenly Father, thank you for the powerful truth of Jesus' resurrection. Help us to stand firm in our faith and respond with integrity, even in the face of opposition. Give us the courage to boldly proclaim the good news and trust in your plan for our lives. Strengthen our hearts and guide our steps as we follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.